Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I have another interesting video here, this time working on a 2004 Chevrolet Kodiak. Uh, this is a 6.6 .6 liter diesel engine, uh, B8. Um, the computer is from a local uh, shop, this is, um, hometown diesel. This uh, shop sent me always computers to test and repair here. I have repaired some other computers for them and they're very happy. So they keep sending me uh, the module for testing and make sure that if it's anything wrong to be corrected and then repair. Uh, so I'm sharing right now, uh, again, the FICOM on this uh, Kodiak. I'm going to set up the camera closely. Uh, I'm also going to turn the camera on. I have this time, I wanna give you a better approach you will be able to see <clears throat> everything very closely as I am doing the test on the board and then also seeing the results in the curb tracer. So I have gathered all the information. <clears throat> all right, guys, I got the cameras going. I have the screen recording, but I'm going to show you first the information. Um, let me get my glasses off. All right, so let me just take... Um, hmm. Where is the computer not open so we can see the numbers? <clears throat> right here. So this is the way this computer looks. That's the back side of the computer. This is the part number A9730375011. And this is the common rail FICOM computer. <clears throat> Those are the connectors. Very nice that you can have all the pinouts and the connector so you can check everything well i don't know what that was in there this is just the opening of the computer to make sure it's not corroded and let's start doing the test i usually take a good high definition picture <coughs> of the screen oh sorry of the computer looks like that's the end these are the faults that he has on the computer uh, we got injector 7 control circuit uh, also, injector positive voltage con control circuit on group one. And I'm going to show you what that at the end is on the board. <clears throat> I take the time to map out the um, wire diagram. So in this, I'm using Identifix. So we have the FICOM, and this is the same FICOM at the bottom. So they, the way the manufacturer um, divided the diagram, so you have the command on the bottom and then the control on the top and then this is the engine control module the way this system works the computer will send the control command over to the FICOM inside the computer this is the microprocessor here that signal will be transferred and then start activating the injectors as is being commanded from the control side of the computer and then it will send a command in here the FICON, as you can see here is in control of the power side and the uh, negative side for the injector remember this is a common rail injector system <clears throat> all right so i have as you can see here uh, all the wiring diagrams i also went ahead and uh, mapped out the computer. Uh, so the back side, let me go over to the front side first. Let me take that picture out. Right now we are just looking at one right here. All right, so as you can see, I marked injectors one, two, three, two, eight, and then we have the drivers that are indeed one. Uh, that's the way it looks in the computer. So we will have number one number seven number four number six and then number two number eight number five and number three on this side these are the drivers for the actual control not the controls they say the command as they have it on the on the diagram that will activate the injectors right and then we have uh, other um, circuits that needs to be checked which is the powers um, for his concern since we have and a specific injector if we take a look at the diagram again <clears throat> uh, we can see that all the injector group one and injector group two have a chair power so if you have an injector they have just one injector problem 
the only uh, part that can be the problem is either the connector or the injector, the injector itself, or the FICOM, right? So the FICOM command, right, as we have in here, which is for injector 7s will be in pin 61 and 62. These two pins are shared internally in the computer, and same is in 59 and 60 for injector number 6, because we can see that injector 1, injector 4, they have, um, sorry, injector one and injector four, they got just a one pin because it's a thicker pin, just the way the manufacturer designed it. <clears throat> All the rest of the injectors pins inside the computer are these thick ones in here, 61, 62, 59, and 60 are these other type of uh, pins, a smaller pin out. That's why they join two, so they can carry the amperage because otherwise it will get burned because it's too small. But so again, uh, we cannot have um, a problem inside the driver of the computer or the thicken in this case, right? As far as the supply voltage, because I will completely take a whole bank out. So I can uh, immediately disregard the injector supply voltage circuit internally on the thicken because it's not a specific to each injector. The command on the other way, it is a specific to each injector. And that's what I'm doing the test that I want to share with you. Same thing will be on the control side. As we can see here, injector control, that signal coming from the ECM to the FICOM is in a specific wire for each injector. So yes, that can be a problem too. So I want to show you the test, and this is the test that you can do in the vehicle as well. Uh, <clears throat> I'm using for this uh, the curve tracer. Uh, again, the model that I'm using is the UCE uh, dash CT220S, and this is from UCore Electronics. Very good tool, very good company really good warranty, very good response. If you have any problems, I have actually two core tracers and they work perfectly. All right, so I want to share the test that I'm going to do, which that's why I have a curve tracer up and going. And let me actually bring this down. So the way that I do uh, this, uh, uh, it's very important when you're using your curve tracer that you use uh, because you can change these values to 1 volt, 2.5, 5, 10, and 20 volts. depends on the drivers or uh, components that you are testing. So, but make sure that if you are going to do this test and then you want to reuse this data because the nice thing about this curve tracer is that you can save the data and then use it for testing on another computer when it comes, right? So I usually take a picture of the settings, take a picture of what I'm using in there so I know, or I name the picture so I'm reusing the same picture for the tests and all the settings are the same. Let's say if I open this and this is, uh, let me actually close everything else so I can show you how I do it. So I open the software for the uh, curve tracer. Now I can bring this down. I go over to advanced mode, enable database. I load the image. I'm going to load the front side first. And that's the same image we had before. And then, uh, and this is including the name if you want to uh, create the data. I'm going to load the data file that I already have. So use the front side test. <clears throat> I have in here, as you can see, I did 47 points of tests that I mapped out for the computer. What I'm going to show right here is going to be obviously the test on the on the drivers that I need to, to do for the injector. So I'm just going to scroll down to find them because they're just named as pins, right? So starting from pin 15. What am I looking to do here is to make sure that those signals are the same. Let me push my... Um, glasses but so if i touch right now on driver we're on injector number one and i touch in there i'm want to see the signal reach the same point so yes let it charge <clears throat> and we can see indeed that is matching exactly the red image that we have behind 
now is exactly the same. If I move over to pin 16, or point 16, sorry, uh, that is a different signal. So we go in again, we are in the four one. So one, two, three, four, that will be right here. And we can see that it's exactly the same, right? And you will say, well, yeah, this is the same because it's the same computer you're checking. Yes, it's true. But if I go over to pin 17, <clears throat> yes, follow that. It's the same, right? So what I want to do, and the reason I record all, because all these drivers on the Yek2, they should have the same image. So if I go to pin 15, remember, I'm in, in injector 1, but I'm going to touch on injector 7, which is the one right next to it with the one we have the problem so i'm going to uh, make sure that i'm not in the way so it should be the third driver so one two three if i touch in here what i want to use is that same signal that i have from injector number one and then use it as my uh, known good for injector number seven and as we can see it's a perfect match so i go there that is a perfect match if I now move into test point 16, which is again in the same driver number one, I'm going to touch that same point on the driver for injector number seven. <clears throat> again, third one, and I touch in here. And as we can see, we got the exact same waveform. So the driver is perfect. There's nothing wrong with this driver on, on number seven. And then the other one, if I want to do uh, seven, is just a ground supply, because this is the ground supply voltage, or sorry, the ground supply uh, supply um, for the injector. So we can see that that is a ground indeed, because we, we want to make sure that we are testing. Um, I forgot to mention that I had the curb tracer uses, uh, well, this curb tracer has two probes. So I'm using this probe has, uh, in the curb tracer has a red, color so i'm using this on the red color <clears throat> sorry and then the other lead which is on the probe one like red and and black the black one is the ground and i have that connected to a ground uh pad on the computer which in this case is one of the uh, terminals in the connector that i know looking at the wiring diagrams that that is indeed a ground if i touch here all this plane on the ecm or ficum is also a ground so if i touch in here that's how a ground should look a complete straight line up a horizontal line is an open circuit vertical line is shorted that means that this is indeed a short this is means is it's good this is a ground pad so this side of the drivers is just a ground so this is completely connected to ground this is a ground pad and that's how the <clears throat> FICON is controlling the ground side of the injectors and i can check the same way in here so if i go back to the pin 15 of terminal 15 if i go and check all the injectors drivers i should be seeing the same thing so right now i'm in, in injector number two let's see if it's a signature waveform is the same and you see it's matching exactly so we do the same with the next one and it's perfect the same with the next one and it's perfect the same with the next one and it's perfect and you can see that it goes open and close and and reading good so Let's do the same here. <clears throat> that is good. That is injector number six. We go on to injector number four. It's the same. We already checked seven, but let's do it again. And we can check injector number one, and they're the same. So if I go then now to pin test point 16, again, the other side that we need to check. We already checked this one, but I'm going to do it again just for the sake of the video. So we got the exam, exact same image. The next one on injector seven is a perfect match. The next one on injector four is a perfect match. And the next one on injector number six is a perfect match. If I go over the other side, <clears throat> I have to touch in here. So that will be injector three is a perfect match. That is injector five is a perfect match. This is injector eight is a perfect match. And then the last one is injector two and it's a perfect match so what is this telling me all the drivers are good i can move on into the next test 
All right, so to do the next test, I'm going over to the other side of the board. So I'm going to just shut this down. I just like to do it like that because this is the best way for the curve tracer. Since I'm not changing the settings, this stays the same. I go over to advanced mode, enable database. I can click in here. I will load the image first. And now I'm going to go over to the back side with markings. I, this is my own uh, information in there. And as you can see, I got more going on in there. <clears throat> so, and now let's load the data. And that will be back side. And now I have everything that I need for that. So I can make this a little bigger. Actually, let's skip this like that and make this image just a little bigger so we can see more in there. But so what I did is I took the time and this obviously outside the um, video, I do all this work and I follow, you know, I follow all the connectors. I know which injectors is one, two, and, you know, eight, where the circuit goes uh, through these uh, resistors in here and then to this pre-driver. In this case, this is the control side coming from the computer. So this is going from the ECM to the FICOM through this. Um, this is, um, uh, let me just think on the name one second. Um, operational amplifier. And then from here, we'll go over to the microprocessor, which is in this side. So I'm going to flip the board. Make sure that you guys are seeing this well. Let me see if I can get a bigger or a closer look. Oh, that looks like it's, that's it. <laughs> All right, so that's as much as I can go with the current um, lens that I have on the camera, let's say on the upper side on the microscope, but I'm going to do the same thing. So let me find the test point, which is probably that one. It, it is, so. I'm going to look for that image. Um, actually, let me move to the injectors, which is what I were looking for in here. So let me zoom out in here. So we got that image on this corner. And as you can see, I got the numbers already on that image. So this is the ECM control. We already checked the injector command on the FICOM. So all this was for the command that goes from here to the other side. I just always like to, uh, keep that information for future testings. But so now we're checking the ECM control. We want to make sure that I remap all this we are to here. We got no opens or shorts or anything onto this signal. So all the resistors are good. So I want to make sure now that this operational amplifier is indeed reading good. So let's just start with injector number seven uh, pin. I'm trying to, <clears throat> and we can see if I put that in there, Okay, that's the image from seven. So what I need to see is that all the images and all the injectors are the same. So I'm going to go over to, uh, let me see if I go move into another injector so we can get a better look. So that's injector number four, the one is next. So if I touch in here, we can see we got the same image. And now I hold that you guys, so I now understand what I'm doing. This is a comparison test. And that's what they were curve tracer is good because it's injecting a signal and you expect to, to get the same result. These are the same type of injectors commands, so they should look all the same. So seven, if I go back to seven, I get in pin two, the image on the screen matches. And I'm right now on injector number four signal. So that means that it's nothing wrong with the seven. The operation amplifier is good. If I go over to the next signal, so the four, the first four pins on this side, so one, uh, you know, the second one, which is the second on, on the amplifier is the first injector number seven. We got it right there. Injector number four is the same. Injector number one is the same. And then injector number six is the same. If I go over to the other side, uh, let me just pick up a pin. And I'm going a little fast, but I just want to share how I do this because a lot of you guys are doing tests on all over the world, like to understand a little better. So I'm sharing this with you. So number eight is exactly the same. 
Uh, number five is exactly the same. Number three is the same. And number two is the same. So we have all the same. If I go back to number seven, which is injector or the problematic area of the customer concern is the same. Do I need to check powers and grounds to this component? Realistically, no. Why not? Because it's the same component for all the injectors. If this would be, let's say, you know, for a specific, again, one injector only, then I'm moving to the next component to see where the problem might be. But if we have a specific just one injector given problem and we can see that the image is the same, that means that this component has powers and grounds and is getting the, the signals. The computer sends a signal from here. I'm going to go over to the other side to this microprocessor and then the microprocessor send the signal to control each of these um, drivers. So the next test that I need to do is to then now find the signals from the microprocessor all the way to the base of the drivers because I check this side, I check this side and I know that this is good and this driver is good. But I still need to check, make sure that the control side of this injector, which is here, right, of this injector driver is reaching this microprocessor. So how we do that, I'm going to remove this because we don't need this no more. So this is the end of the curve tracer uh, test. <clears throat> and I'm going to just, now we don't need this, but I'm going to keep it in the image. I can actually stop the screen recordings. All right, so that will be, we don't need the screen recording no more. So I'm going to focus now in here. So you can do this same test. Because now what we're looking for is an open circuit. <clears throat> so I'm putting my um, multimeter in continuity mode. Hopefully you guys can see that in there. Let me make the camera. Oops. I must pull my cables. Let me move the camera just a little so you guys can see that. Let me see, make sure you guys are seeing that. Yeah, that should be good because we're looking at the computer. So, <clears throat> again, just the uh, multimeter in continuity. And knowing now the circuitry on these drivers, okay, this is the pin that comes from the actual terminals on the computer. We already know that. The other pin uh, is ground, so we already know that this is a shared ground, a ground, a ground, and a ground on all the drivers. So the one only that we need to check, again, from the first four drivers is this one. Where is this one coming from? Yes, brush it. Nothing. So what this is telling me is that we have something in place in here that is uh, in control of these drivers. So let me just take you over. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to really show you like this. So <clears throat> let me try to get a Pomona connector bear, me, bear with me one second I'm doing this with you live so let me just find one of the Pomona's that I can use for this testing I have one ready perfect I'm going to show you what a Pomona connector is so this is a Pomona uh, connector and the nice thing about this is it has uh, clip that you can attach to um, these uh, small drivers. I'm going to show you like in pin 7 right here. I can barely see, but you see it grabs it really good. So now I can grab my multimeter lead. <clears throat> and this, this is just a quick test. Uh, this is, remember, this is the, the ECN control side. So I'm just going to do the same way. Okay, so right there. So we know that from this 
operational amplifiers are from this operational amplifier. It goes over to this side of the board on the microprocessor and it's right there. So that's exactly what we're doing in here. Now what I want to do is see if like, again, let's pick up one of these drivers, either one. Uh, let's switch on a seven. I'm in the other side of the board. So bear with me a second. I want to get the image that I need to do this test because I will be back side, front side with markings. Where is it? Oh, right here. So number seven is the third one. I want to, you know, start with the known, let's say, with the problematic uh, driver. <clears throat> so the third one is our injector seven. The ground is in here. So this is the control of the driver. So now I have the control of the driver. And what I want to know, because the most likely that is going on to the other side, probably to this other operational amplifier. I mean, just I'm just doing an assumption because I'm not sure yet. No, it's not. Again, I'm just rubbing this around to find out where this is going. Okay, I just found it. Okay, hopefully you guys can see it's a little blurry there because the angle of the camera. So we have found right here and this one. So this is going through here and that's why we couldn't see it because it's going from here and then moves over to this side. That's actually a small let me, sorry guys, one second, I need to get the microscope in the way because I cannot see with my naked eye in there. <clears throat> That's going to be just one second. I want to see where I am. It looks like it's a 4.6 R4. That is not a stepping in here. We got two different areas. And this is going. Let the camera focus again. <clears throat> this light will be too bright. All right, so I found that this goes here. Let me see. Like, so here, it goes over to this pin in here and over to this other pin in here. All right, so let me see if I find anything else that tells me that we are in here. Just looking for <clears throat> okay, right here. I found it. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the driver for the injectors. Remember, this is the one that's now in charge of this one. So we have, and this is, you know, you saw how now uh, you guys saw how easy it is to find the actual injector driver. So that's right here is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven for seven, <laughs> at least on this side. Uh, this looks like it's been one in this corner, so seven on this corner. So we're gonna move into the next injector driver, which is, well, actually I wasn't one, sorry guys, that was for one, so let's check seven. No, nothing in there. Let's do one again. Yes, you guys can see there. This is this is how I do the test. So you want to learn. So we definitely got one here. 
Let's try the other one. We know that we couldn't find seven in there, so let's try now four. Four is here. Four is here. Mm -hmm. So we might have found a problem. Let's try six. And six is here too. I couldn't see seven. So seven. Oh, seven it is here. One, two, three. Yeah. So seven is here. Okay. I don't know why I couldn't hear it at the beginning, but always double check your tests to make sure that you have no open. So this is the injector pre-driver for the control of this uh, driver itself. So we got no issues on the driver. I honestly will not suspect to have a problem in here. Uh, reason why I say that, because an injector will burn this first than this. The control side of the computer goes from here and then moves into this one. We can see, you know, all this circuitry, how, how it goes inside the computer. But again, <clears throat> this is for me is looking at the problem is in the vehicle and not in here. I don't see any opens. Again, we can see that we have. So I'm going to go in order. In order of location. So this is six. We know that we got six in here. So that's the, pin, the fifth pin. Uh, four is the six pin. Again, seven is the next one. Yep, they're in order. So four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's injector number one. If I do the same on the other side, the other drivers too, it has to go there. Most likely, yep, the beginning is right here. So you see, pin one or injector number three. <coughs> now in injector five, probably the second one, and it is exactly. If I move this to the next one. Injector number eight, most likely the third one, and it is. And then the last injector is definitely the fourth one, and it is. All right, so guys, as you can see, this is 100% test for this computer. I don't see any burn spots. I don't see water intrusion. Everything is good on this FICOM. All right, this is for Sean in Hometown Diesel. Got a great shop really good technicians and they always double check make sure everything is working properly these are well-known failure parts on these ones i have repaired uh, some other modules the same for um, another um, shop let me all right guys i was saying that okay this is a great test on this computer we have all the information we need now we know that this is injector pre-driver and this goes in order from the first pin to the A pin for the injectors in here. Um, I will not suspect to have a problem on the driver or sorry, the, the IC in control of injectors because this controls this. We saw in the same waveform with the uh, curve tracer that the signal is good. That checks pretty much all the way to here with the ground connected into the same computer. The reason I went ahead and do it is because I wanted to show you how you can also find where the control of a component is coming from. And I think that I did really good in here for you guys that are around the world and those that are interested and in see how is this nice and very intriguing um, world of repairing computers. There is no schematics. I have the schematic for the outside to see where the, come, you know, the injector signals are coming from the inside, nothing. You have to do this by yourself. Find components, the same thing. There is some components that still leave the numbers as they are. Some, the majority, no. You have to 
decipher what this component is and then try to find it. All right, but what I was going to show you is this is again um, the uh, one for this cardiac. This is another one that I repaired for uh, another uh, customer here is um, Booming Chevrolet. They sent this before. I'm going to show you here. <clears throat> You can see it's the same. Let me move this out of the way. One second, guys. This was really bad. Again, the same part number. I'm going to show you this is indeed for somebody else. Injector control models. A different Manassas, too. But let me just show you. See, this has a lot of water intrusion in it. I mean, this was really, really bad. Look at this. I mean, this was really damaged. And I fixed it for them. This came out like brand new. Let me show you how that now looks. Uh, this was a repair done last year. And these are very expensive modules, hard to find. And I repaired it for them. Customer is happy they have run the, the vehicle for almost a year with no problems at all. And this is, this is what I do here. I replace all the components that are damaged and we uh, apply a protecting coating, especially for these ones that I have, because if we see the casing on these uh, thickums, let me just show you, this is the one for Sean, is, is cool and cool, so this will have an inlet and an outlet, so it warms up the computer when it needs to be warm, you know, if it's, uh, you know, very cold outside, so that will make the computer start working properly, and also don't let, don't let it go too hot. Uh, yeah, so this indeed is a good working thickum. I think that's all I want to share with you guys. I hope that you like the content. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Oh, and this is the curve tracer just in case you want to see it. See you next time. Bye-bye.